767 aircraft manufactured by the Boeing Commercial Airplane Company is equipped with two Sunstrand Integrated Drive Generators, or IDGs, which produce alternating current electrical power for all aircraft electrical applications. Proper servicing is an extremely important phase of IDG line maintenance, as operating the IDG with the incorrect amount of oil may cause overheating that could result in internal damage. The information in this presentation applies to the IDGs installed on the Pratt & Whitney JT90-7R4 and the General Electric CF6-80A engines. In Pratt & Whitney engine applications, the IDG pumps filtered oil from the oil outline through an air oil cooler, through two fuel oil coolers, and then through the oil inline where it re-enters the IDG. In General Electric engine applications, the IDG pumps filtered oil from the oil outline through an air oil cooler, through a fuel oil cooler, and then through the oil inline where it re-enters the IDG case. In this program, we will describe 1. Checking procedures for the scavenge filter differential pressure indicator and the low oil level indicator. 2. Replenishment procedures for an IDG which has a low quantity of oil. 3. Servicing procedures for a newly installed or a replacement IDG. And 4 changing the oil in the IDG system. When you perform servicing, refer to all warnings, cautions, notes, and specific procedures in the aircraft maintenance manual. Checking is an extremely important phase of IDG servicing. Checking procedures include 1. Observing the scavenge filter differential pressure indicator. 2 making sure the IDG is connected, and three, performing a low oil level check within 90 minutes of engine shutdown. Do not perform these checking procedures on a newly installed or replacement IDG which has not been properly serviced. Begin checking the differential pressure indicator by opening the service access panel. Examine the scavenge filter differential pressure indicator button located next to the scavenge filter cap. If the red button is extended, it is necessary to remove and replace the IDG. If the button is not extended, proceed to the oil level checking procedure. Never perform oil level checking on an IDG which has been disconnected during the last engine run. When you encounter an IDG which has been disconnected, refer to the fault isolation requirements. The oil level check must be performed within 90 minutes following an engine run during which the IDG oil temperature exceeded 80 degrees Celsius. Warning, 80 degrees Celsius is equal to 176 degrees Fahrenheit which can cause skin burns. When you perform checking, use adequate protection. Wait a minimum of three minutes after engine shutdown to allow the oil to stabilize. Begin by wiping the viewing face of the low oil level indicator with a clean cloth. If the viewing face remains contaminated, clean the backside of the viewing surface. Spray an approved solvent or glass cleaner into the clean-out hole on the back side of the indicator. When the viewing area of the indicator is clean and free of contamination, dry the surface by directing a stream of air into the clean-out hole. Use a flashlight to illuminate the low oil level indicator. Look at the indicator and change your angle of vision until you see the white marks exactly aligned. You are now in the correct viewing position. Now, observe the indicator. If the indicator is totally dark or amber, 
It is an indication that oil is visible over the entire viewing area. The IDG has a sufficient amount of oil and replenishment is not required. If the indicator appears totally or partially bright near the center of the viewing area, it's because there is not enough oil in the IDG to cover the entire viewing area of the indicator. If you observe this condition, you know that the oil level is low and that it must be replenished. This completes the checking procedures for the differential pressure indicator and the low oil level indicator. Replenishment is necessary when the quantity of oil in the IDG case is low. Replenishment consists of one, determining if the engine has been shut down for more than three hours or determining if a maintenance action caused a loss of oil. Two, draining the IDG case, if either of these conditions exist, to prevent the IDG from being filled with the incorrect quantity of oil. And three, replenishing the IDG oil system as required. Prepare to replenish the oil in the IDG system by opening either the engine cowl or the service access panel. When the cowl is open, you will have access to the vent valve near the top of the IDG. Warning! The oil in the IDG may be hot and under pressure. Use adequate protection and handle the IDG with care. The preferred method of relieving any pressure in the IDG is to press the vent valve for approximately 15 seconds. Relieving the pressure this way will prevent oil from spraying out of the drain hose when you connect the drain line. When the cowl is not open, you will not have access to the vent valve. To relieve pressure when the cowl is closed, attach a contained drain line to the overflow drain valve. If you must perform servicing when the IDG is still at a dangerously high temperature, we recommend that you wear protective heat resistant gloves. There will be a small quantity of residual oil in the overflow drain. If the IDG was operated, this oil may be under pressure. Use caution when venting the IDG case pressure. If a maintenance action caused a loss of oil, or you cannot replenish the IDG within three hours of an engine shutdown, the oil in the IDG case must be drained before you can perform the oil replenishment procedure. Drain oil from the IDG by removing the case drain plug which will allow the oil to drain into a container. After the oil has drained from the IDG, place a new O-ring on the drain plug and reinstall it in the drain boss. Tighten the plug to the torque value specified in the aircraft maintenance manual and secure it with lock wire. You are now ready to replenish the IDG with oil. Remember that oil replenishment is necessary when the quantity of oil in the IDG case is low. Replenishment procedures can be performed within three hours of engine shutdown on an IDG which has a low quantity of oil or after the IDG case has been drained. When you replenish the IDG which has a low quantity of oil, Use one of the oils specified in the approved oils list printed in the aircraft maintenance manual. Never mix types or brands of oil in one IDG system. If the same type of oil is not available, change the oil in the IDG using the procedure we will describe in section 4, oil change. Record the type of oil you use in the maintenance log. Remove the overflow and pressure fill dust caps. If you vented the IDG using the preferred method, depressing the vent valve, attach the proper overflow drain line to the overflow drain valve. Note that the overflow drain valve is slightly larger than the pressure fill valve. Check to make sure that the line is securely and correctly attached and that it is directed into a suitable container. Connect the fill hose from the cart 
to the pressure fill valve on the IDG. Pump oil at 5 to 15 pounds per square inch pressure into the IDG. When oil begins to flow out the overflow drain line, stop pumping and immediately disconnect the pressure fill line from the pressure fill valve. Allow the stream of oil to flow from the overflow drain line. The flow of oil should slow to a stream, which is the thickness of a pencil lead within approximately 60 seconds after you disconnect the fill line. Remove the drain line. Install the dust caps on both the overflow drain and pressure fill valves. This completes the oil replenishment procedures for an IDG which has a low oil level. Servicing is required for all newly installed IDGs and must also follow any maintenance action that requires replacement of the IDG. Servicing consists of one, pressure filling the IDG system with oil. Two, running the engine until the IDG oil out temperature reaches 80 degrees Celsius. And three, replenishing the IDG system with oil. Begin servicing procedures by positioning a pressure fill oil servicing cart under the IDG. Remove the overflow and pressure fill dust caps. Attach the proper overflow drain line to the overflow drain valve. Note that servicing the IDG with the drain line not connected or connected improperly can result in the IDG becoming incorrectly filled, which can cause internal damage during operation. Improper connections can be caused by neglecting to vent the drain fitting valve or by interchanging the pressure fill and overflow valves. Connect the fill hose from the cart to the pressure fill valve on the IDG. Pump oil at 5 to 15 pounds per square inch pressure into the IDG. When oil begins to flow out the overflow drain line, stop pumping and immediately disconnect the pressure fill line from the pressure fill valve. Allow the stream of oil to flow from the overflow drain line. The flow of oil should slow to a stream, which is the thickness of a pencil lead within approximately 60 seconds after you disconnect the fill line. Remove the drain line. Install the dust caps on both the overflow drain and pressure fill valves. Close the engine cowl panel using the procedures described in the aircraft maintenance manual. After you have correctly filled the IDG with oil, run the engine. Note that motoring the engine will not accomplish the proper oil distribution. During the engine run, monitor the oil out temperature on the ICAS display. When the temperature of the oil and the IDG exceeds 80 degrees Celsius, Shut down the engine. Wait a minimum of three minutes after the engine stops rotating, then replenish the IDG with oil. To ensure that the oil in the IDG system is distributed properly, it is necessary to perform replenishment within three hours of the engine run. Replenish the IDG with oil using the procedure we described in section two oil replenishment. If your maintenance time is limited to the extent that you are not able to perform the engine run and replenishment procedures within three hours of engine shutdown, write a note in the maintenance log that a low oil level check must be performed within the next 50 flight hours. If the oil is low at that time, replenish the oil as required. This completes our description of the servicing procedure for a newly installed or replacement IDG. When the oil in the IDG must be changed due to a suspected or known contamination within the oil system, 
or as required by an airline scheduled maintenance interval, perform the oil change procedure. Changing the oil consists of one, draining the oil from the IDG case and external circuit. Two, examining the scavenge filter for signs of contamination or filter damage. Three, examining the characteristics of the drained oil to determine if the oil has an abnormally dark color or odor, or if the oil is chemically contaminated or degraded. And four, replenishing the IDG system with oil. Warning, the oil in the IDG may be hot and under pressure. Use adequate protection and handle the IDG with care. Depressurize the system by pressing the vent valve if it is accessible or by connecting the overflow drain line which is directed into a suitable container. Remove the case drain plug and drain the oil from the IDG. Drain the oil from the external circuit by disconnecting the oil in and oil out lines from the IDG. Use the double wrench method to loosen the oil line fittings. Examine the scavenge filter. Check for signs of contamination or filter damage. If the filter is contaminated with chunks or pieces of metal, remove and replace the IDG and service the replacement IDG according to the procedures we describe for filling a newly installed or replacement IDG. If the filter is damaged, the external oil lines and cooler must also be removed and replaced to prevent contamination which could cause damage to the replacement IDG. Inspect the characteristics of the drained oil. If the color is considerably darker than that of fresh oil, or if the drained oil has an abnormal odor, either A, flush the cooler and oil lines with fresh oil, remove and replace the IDG, and service the replacement IDG according to the servicing procedures we described earlier for filling a replacement IDG. Or B, replace the IDG and service it with oil using the procedures we will describe for an IDG with chemical contamination or oil degradation. When the oil in the IDG must be changed due to known or suspected chemical contamination or oil degradation, service the IDG following the procedures we described for replenishing an IDG. After you have correctly filled the IDG with oil, run the engine until the temperature of the oil exceeds 80 degrees Celsius. Depressurize the IDG and drain the oil from the IDG case and the external oil circuit. Remove and replace the scavenge filter. Reinstall the drain plug Reconnect the oil lines and service the IDG following the procedures we described earlier for replenishing the IDG after an engine run. In this program, we have discussed checking, servicing, replenishment, and oil change procedures required for the Sunstrand integrated drive generator installed on the Pratt & Whitney JT90-7R4 and the General Electric CF6-80A engines. Remember that when you're checking the IDG, the indicator must be checked within 3 to 90 minutes after an engine run, during which time the oil temperature exceeded 80 degrees Celsius. The oil check is never performed on an IDG which has been disconnected. When you fill the IDG with oil, it is necessary to 1. Perform replenishment within 3 hours of an engine run. 2. Make sure the overflow drain line is attached and properly seated. And 3. Pump oil into the IDG until it flows from the drain line. Observe the oil flow to determine when the IDG is correctly filled. 
never use the low oil level indicator when you are performing servicing or replenishment. Observing the indicator is part of the checking procedure. This program has been produced for the Customer Service Training Department of Sunstrand Aviation, a unit of Sunstrand Corporation.